Next, two hotheads where activism happens. Two hotheads where activism happens. We're back on Unregular Radio. We're chilling in the studio, going back to Cali, apparently. But we're back here in Massachusetts and we're talking about things that are happening right here, things that are happening nationwide in terms of the Federal Reserve. Uh, today at 12 o'clock out on the Parkman Bandstand, there was a huge rally of people um, that I was unable to attend, but a lot of this has been, all of this organization around here from Occupy Boston and Occupy New England and all sorts of uh, radical activist groups have been doing this awesome work, and Frank Capone has been at the forefront of that. And this dude, we love having him on the show every time he comes in it's, it's a party we uh we appreciate all the work he's doing and i i want to hear about the rally because i was unable to be there frank are you with us yes hello hey, how are hey. you <laughs> <laughs> yeah today was awesome uh we had a lot of great people come out um we had people from rhode island to maine um they are representing uh you know new england and the fed and uh we marched from parkman bandstands and um you know brought the message to the streets we stopped in Faneuil hall and rallied up and, um, nice. you know, talked to all the people that were shopping, let them know that bombs are dropping. And yeah. um, it was great. You know, we got to the Fed, and um, now we're heading over to our after party that we're having. <laughs> and uh, it was a great day. Tell us about the after party. <laughs> oh, what's going yeah, down? The after, <laughs> the after party is uh, it's going to be really cool. We've got a bunch of good acts. Uh, we've got a lot of music uh, coming down. We've got TB Towns most. We've got uh, J-Roy. We got a little hip hop flavor there, and then we've got uh, two really, really cool bands: um, The Stilts out of Rhode Island and A Minor Revolution out of um, New Hampshire. And we're also going to be doing a raffle. We've got a raffle for a, a five-piece uh, co- copper round set, courtesy of American Free Patriots. Nice. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. And then we've got a couple of um, silver pieces we're going to raffle off, and some stickers and other kind of stuff. It's going to be really cool. It's a great time. Uh, it's going to be at uh, the Rosebud in Somerville in Davis Square. Awesome. And it starts. About uh, four thirty, five o'clock. Um, come on down. It's, it's ten bucks to do it. Twenty-one plus, and um, it's gonna be great. That sounds fantastic. So, so tell me more about what you're celebrating. How did the, you know what happened at the rally today? And 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 uh, you know uh, what was the response from people when you were when you were out there? My favorite response that um, that we got uh, today was uh, we were in downtown Crossing, and um, I was, you know, on the megaphone talking to uh, the folks about how Barack Obama assassinated an American citizen that was 16 years old. And um, somebody from the sidewalk screamed. They were like, that's not true. And, you know, I just simply bullhorned the guy back. Well, sorry, buddy. It is. You know, look it up. And that that, that kind of just kind of um, really, like, lays it out of the kind of the situation that we're in right now is that, people are so um, oblivious to what's really going on that when you kind of hit them with that fact that, oh, well, the president won the assassination of a 16-year-old, like, American citizen, the kid was born in Colorado, um, people just don't even, they don't believe it because how could that be true? They, they don't know what's going on, you know? And, and so that's all, what we yeah. were trying to do today is get out there and let people know what's really going on. And then they also... And I think we accomplished that. Yeah, and don't, like, you, you are also out in the, um, on the polling day, you did a similar bit asking the same question and i also heard some of the people were rationalizing it away like it was okay yeah no absolutely um one one guy um uh, one obama, obama supporter told me that um it couldn't it, it couldn't be true um and then another uh, a romney guy was like oh yeah i think that's great um you know i think that if it's part of the the the, the war on terror then you know it's it's justified um so these people are just they're backwards. I mean, it, it, to think that it's okay to execute an American citizen without trial, without due process. A 16 process, year old. Um, just, you can know, you tell it, us, it, it's, it's bonkers. Can you tell us more about this case for people who might not know about it? Yeah, so, um, Anwar Awalaki, um, he was, you know, the um, propaganda man for Al Qaeda, supposedly, in, well, supposedly. in Yemen. Supposedly. And no, not proven in any court of law, right? No, not proven in any sort of court of law. So he was born in the United States, um, and he was in Yemen. Supposedly, according to the State Department, he uh, rescinded his United States citizenship. So when they murdered him with the drone, it wasn't um, it wasn't the actual uh, murdering of an American citizen. However, his son and his cousin 
his country's, um, were, were both American citizens that were there in Yemen at the time looking for their father, like looking for the young, the young kid's father. And he was killed in a drone strike a week before, and he was coming to come home, and a drone strike hit a barbecue that they are at. Wow. And killed the both of them. And it was an ordered drone strike um, through the CIA's drone program. So um, you can blame Petraeus, you can blame uh, Obama, but at the end of you know, the, at the end of the day, Obama's the president, so the axe falls to him. And what's the mainstream media talking about? They're talking about Paula Broadwell and Petraeus. I mean, that, that isn't well, that the exactly, reality you know? of the situation here? Or how many people went shopping for Black yeah. Friday? <laughs> that's that's what's important. Now, and that's well, part exactly, of yeah. How many people, how many people got trampled and everything? I mean. <laughs> Yeah, the, the 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 yearly trample count. It's like a it's like a it's like a reality <laughs> show. It's ridiculous. And and Absolutely. so you mentioned the drone strikes, and that's a huge part of um, what you were protesting today as well. A lot of people, you know, um, have heard a lot about the the audit the Fed and the Fed stuff, but you brought in the the added element of end the wars. Um, can you tell us about why why that became part of? I mean, why why you decided to include that on this like specifically? Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, well, the Federal Reserve basically is where all credit fl- flows from in, um, you know, most of the world. I mean, we're all on, on petrol dollars and everything else. So, I mean, when we're entering into this war machine, you know, and, and, and what in the way it's, fund- it's funding mechanism is the Federal Reserve. Its funding mechanism is the amount of money that we have to pay back through our income taxes in interest to the Fed. So um, these banks are... Pr- through the Fed are providing themselves with low interest loans, and then they're providing Halliburton with with loans. They're they're providing, right. um, you know, uh, uh, what do they call them? Blackwater? Well, they're not called Blackwater anymore. They're called Z now. You know, I mean, the, the Iraq War was actually the highest like number of privatized um, contractors working in theater that we've ever had. You know, and so we're moving to this plausible deniability stage where, oh well, that wasn't the United States government. That was just some kind of rogue contractor. And all of that is funded, the whole right. war machine is funded through the Federal Reserve. Like, if we didn't have this fiat elastic money system where they can just sign on a dotted line and create, you know, trillions of dollars in new currency, then you wouldn't be able to have this perpetual war machine because the country would actually feel it in a much more really tangible way if, if there wasn't just that, that mechanism that just inflated the money supply. Absolutely. Things would go. Things would go back to normal. Our economy and our war system is on steroids. It's true. It's called it's the Federal Reserve printed money. It's yeah, you know, and, and and the cost is not only a hardship to families for paying their bills, but it's also you know real sorrow to the the children and uh, you know the parents of the kids in Yemen, you yeah. know, who have died from these drone strikes. Absolutely. You know, so it's not just it's not just an economic thing. I mean, it's it's hugely economic, but it's a human thing. You know, I mean. How would we feel if people were dropping bombs on our kids? You know, right. that it's pretty quick. Yeah, and and this is like what what me and Alice were talking about this on the way down here was, you know, the fact that it's been ten years in war. I mean, more than ten years. It's it's you know, it seems like our country's over been a at decade. War for decades. But with yeah, you know, yeah, for these other high, countries, you know, ever since I was in high school, we did war. Yeah, and for, think of these other countries. Every single day of their lives, they have to be concerned about you know. Uh, getting members of their family killed. I mean, I, just waking up every single day, the type of um, society that builds. How, how can we build a just, you know, how can we spread, say we're spreading democracy, I mean, in any sort of way, when uh, people are living in fear all every day well, of yeah, their lives. I mean, the only way we spread democracy is through the barrel of a gun. I <laughs> mean, that's, that's the yep. way we do it. I mean, you know, um, it, it, it's, it's just, it, it's beyond, beyond like, insane, you know, the, the, the way that we've, we've kind of come into this, this whole thing where, like, it's basically like a war isn't happening to people, you know, like, there's, know. A, there's a and war why, somewhere, you know, yeah. and you know it's not, because it's not happening here in American soil, it's so true. Right, exactly, and so, I mean, is that, uh, I was going to ask you, like, why, why, when we had such this huge movement, um, you know, when when we first started going, you know, talking about war with Iraq and people were walking out of their schools and people were walking out of yeah, their jobs yeah. and coming out and protesting in the streets and, uh, you know, thousands and thousands made, of people. Who was the president? That's the difference. Well, you think, I mean, I want to know from you, Frank, why do you think that has changed well, so well, much? Well, I remember in 2000, um, in 2000, I think it was uh, 2008, mm-hmm. I marched in um, the anti-war rally in Boston and there was... 15,000 people at yeah. least that marched in that rally. And then in 2009, it was down to like 7,000. And the real fact is that, you know, Obama came in 
considered himself as a peace candidate when, in fact, you know, he was only following a timeline that George Bush had agreed to um, leave Iraq from. So because of the status of forces agreement, that's why we left Iraq. That's not, you know, we didn't leave it because Obama was bringing us out of there. He was just following the timeline that was set by the previous administration, you know. And so until, you know, we can kind of break that kind of paradigm that says, oh, well, you know, my guy's in there and he's not for war. Right. But, like, if you look at it, Obama has ramped up the drone program considerably, yeah. you know. That's true. And I don't it know if true. that's because he thinks it's a really good idea or if he just said, hey, Petraeus, you know, you've been, you've been in charge of both theaters, you've been in charge of the whole theater, I'm sure you know what is right and who's the bad guy, and so you just go do your thing, you know? And you know it's and safer for a very interesting point. Um, there hasn't been a drone strike since the day before Petraeus stepped down. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that was coming from uh, Drone Watch. Hmm. But I wouldn't hold my breath that they're, <laughs> you know, that it's, it's, it's you know, going to... The whole thing is bizarro. It is very... It's, it is the safer, cowardly way to wage war. It is, it's like, I think it's the most base, like, to, to think that they have people sitting in, in, in places... It's like playing a and video like, game. Yeah, you just, just like, yeah, playing like a Xbox. video. You, you know, it's, it's, it's like yeah. playing a flight simulator, basically. You know, yeah. and crazy. It, it, it's it's totally just humanity removed. You know, I mean, we have journalists that are getting on our television stations. There's something on a uh, morning show with Joe Scarborough there or whatever, and he had a guest. I forget the guy's name, but he basically said, "You know what? I don't care as long as it's their four-year-olds." And not ours, you and know. Not our and that's the kind of mentality. And, and, and they're all, yeah. oh my god, they're, they're, they're also saying things like, um, oh, "This is the better way. So we don't have to risk troops. This is this is this is the way we should do it." Like they they rationalize instead it. of saying maybe well, we it's, maybe it's we should. Neg- is what it is. It's like, oh well, our people won't be in harm's way. There's and never so a I question mean, of they, not going to war being the solution. Not killing someone. Yeah, not killing someone being the solution. There's never that is never part of an uh, of any sort of but option. If we don't blow up that bomb. Then we don't get to buy another one. Yeah. Then the oh my God! It's get so to make true. More money. So we need to blow shit up so we can rebuild it and then blow it, blow it up again. again. <laughs> yeah, and give some more government contracts to evil I mean, motherfuckers. You like the '90s? Come on. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh. So I'm real. I'm really glad we're talking about this, Frank, because it is really important that we not forget that this is happening every single day, and just because we're not seeing it. You know, um, ourselves in our front yards, or even it's on the or, or yeah, on the media, you know, that don't war cover is reality it. to most of the yeah. people in this world, it's except true. for us. It's true. I know. It's unbelievable that we're you know we we endorse so much suffering and so much horror in other countries and uh, and in our own for for other reasons. But I mean, it's I, I'm yeah. so glad. I'm so glad that you were out there today, Frank, and I really appreciate you coming on the show to talk about it. It's been, I don't know, I, I, what, do you, did you think um, you got a good response from people when you were talking to them, or, or how do people feel about these types of rallies at this point? Um, I think people um, were kind of, people when we came into Spade Hall were all, you know, shopping and, and just kind of going about their way, getting into the holiday spirit and stuff, you know. And so you get, like, people that turn around, they look at you, and they're like, oh, what are these people doing here? I mean, we got some people that out in the streets that, you know, were giving us, you know, virtual high fives and cheering us on and stuff. So that was really, you know, um, cool. it felt really good to see that. Um, but the only, really, the one uh, negative response I got was from um, the guy who was trying to tell me that it wasn't true. Um, but, no, I thought there was a good response to basically peppered throughout the crowd. And other people were just kind of, you know, in that zombie land where they're like, oh, okay, something's on TV tonight. I'm going to get this for my uncle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shopping. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And speaking of shopping, were you out at uh, Walmart yesterday? I wasn't. I but, didn't make it to oh, Walmart. Okay. I wanted to go, but I didn't. I heard it was incredible, though. Okay. I was, yeah, I was, I was really hoping that that would make some good news and some good, pu- get some good publicity. It did and get it some did. good news. And yeah. it did, and I was really But the media's been that. ignoring it. Let's be serious. They, they've been Yeah, well, the Waltons even issued a press release, I think, saying um, that they were surprised with the turnout and all this and that. Really? The turnout for the, for the protests? For the protests, yeah. Good. Well, Let's I think the proof is in the pudding. Walmart. Get them real surprised and stop paying for their junk. Walmart filed a complaint against the unions. Yeah, they filed it. Absolutely filed and it. After they said that they that yeah. this whole thing wasn't having any dent on them, all of a sudden they like attacked the unions. 
It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. They like but. filed suit with the. And meanwhile, aren't people like getting in fist fights over cell phones at Walmart's? I don't know. Yeah, I was that's so. what happened. Kids yes. are getting that's left what, in cars. What? A kid got left. Oh yeah, in a car kid got left in a car. Yep, for a TV. A boyfriend. Yep. A boyfriend. Good guy. Good boy- guy. Don't don't glad leave, to see don't America leave has your young their kids own. with boyfriends that right. that, that like means, big like, TVs. The, the worst, the two worst things come out of us on Black Friday. You know, not it, me. It's greed and anger. Talk you know, me. I mean that's that's basically yeah. it. It's 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 terrible. I definitely boycotted Black Friday. I've in, never done in, it. It's entirely. I, I always shop the the, the last day. <laughs> yeah, I'm shopping on the 24th. What are we gonna get? Sometimes Frank? on Christmas. What day. are we gonna get, Frank, for Christmas? <laughs> oh. well, 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 I want. Um, I'm gonna do I it. I want a red, a red rider. Oh, <laughs> I love it! I love it. We should get you a new be- megaphone or something. That'd be yeah, cool. I need a new megaphone. Mine's broken. I'm holding this together with duct tape. <laughs> oh man! All right, we're putting it out to the uh, view to the listeners now too. All right, get Frank a megaphone for Christmas. All right, make his oh, little, his this, the little boy's dreams come true. <laughs> give money to charity for Christmas for Seriously. me. Seriously, well, you give back so much to the rest of us, so we have to thank you for that one. Hell yeah. yeah Let's round of applause for Frank Capone. We haven't done a full round of applause yet today. Yeah. We're so trigger happy with the applause on the show. Sure. But, sure. but we are so we got, yeah. Right moment, right time. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. That's awesome. Th- Thank you so much. Come on out to the Rosebud tonight. Oh, Bye. yeah. Rosebud. Awesome. What time, does that go, what time does that go to again, Frank? It's going to go to 8. 8, okay. Until yep. 8 p.m. All right, and I heard rumors of an after-after party too, right, Frank? I heard some rumors too. Show up ah. for the road, you'll find out. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> there we go. You heard it here. We will. I will definitely Thanks, try guys. to check that out. You, everyone else should too. The Rosebud, Frank Capone, amazing. Boston audit the Fed and the Fed and the wars. I really can't argue <laughs> with that. And he's awesome. What a good guy. What a good guy to have on our side, right? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. We got some good people on our side over here at Mike Can, do. don't we? We do. We, we do. do Heather. Isn't it nice? <laughs> it is nice. We have solidarity, man. Solid lots of it. lots of good things happening in Boston. Lots of lots of positive positive people doing positive things. And uh and doing some Occupy Occupy Sandy last week. I was really impressed by that guy who came in and talked about oh, yeah. it. And we got to uh, give more shout outs because they're still getting, they still need help. They're still collecting. They still are collecting stuff. They're still, they still need help. Occupy Sandy is at OccupySandy.org. Yes. Yeah. And you definitely check that out. I've been following them. And, and the, um, uh, the Jubilee they've been doing. Too. The Rolling Jubilee. Yeah. It, it, this stuff's amazing. It's really incredible how people, you know, citizens are taking back power in these ways. I mean, in, in, in New Jersey and in Staten Island and some of these places right now, they're actually, FEMA is actually referring people that need assistance to Food Not Bombs and Occupy to get them to take care of the problem. FEMA's not taking care of the problem. They're, refu- they're referring other people. I'd rather get help from Food Not Bombs I know, and right? Occupy than FEMA. Well, Food Not Wouldn't Bombs. You? Seriously. I've met these people. Food Not Bombs I'm is just a... saying that like some hippy dippy dude. No, I, seriously. Food, That's I... what we're about, community. Food Not Bombs is, is considered Solutions. a terrorist organization. Do it ourselves. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Maybe in Florida. They're on a terrorist. I don't know. They are. We, get, we need to find out more about that. I know about this. You are right. You think maybe just in Florida. I know about the case I know I was know. in Florida. So I want to look it up. Right. I, I need to see more. But uh, Food Not Bombs has been targeted in, in, uh, definitely in Florida and I We're think try- other states as I, well and yeah. shut down for serving with you know without a permit. Keith is, Keith McArdle, the guy that like runs that group, he, yeah. he's from around here. Really? we got to get him on the show, man. I talked to him and he said he would come on and then he doesn't answer his phone. we got to harass him. I have friends that have done Food Not Bombs for years and we used to run Food Not Bombs kind of out of our... Out of our hippie house in Amherst at one point, so you did, um, yeah, we did, yeah, how yeah, did, totally. How did that work? How did well, the guy, it? one of my friends, Tony, uh, Tony Hall, um, was really involved in it, and he, um, he, I worked at the Amherst Survival Center, which was a, uh, you know, kind of a radical community center with uh, free food and free clothes and free everything for everyone, a free store, 
That's awesome. You know, talk about talk about saying fuck you Black Friday. We have a free store. I fucking um, need that. Yeah, no, it's amazing. We need some more free it was like the best place here. ever and and we got extra donations that people we at the survival center ran off of donations, the excess of supermarkets, but we did it, you know, legitimately through, you know, uh, through agreements with the different stores and stuff because we were a nonprofit organization. Food Not Bombs then would take what we didn't use and use that and make food and serve it cool. out on the you know on the streets and so I was part of that for a while um, but the whole point is that it's visible and that they don't have a permit the whole point is that they're going kind of subverting the system or using the excesses of the system to uh, to draw attention to the failures of that system you like food not bombs huh oh I heck yeah I do, yeah, I do uh, yeah absolutely I do too. absolutely I do too a lot. I, awesome and the fact that they're considered more of a legitimate aid organization now at this point in uh in these parts of uh of the country that have been hit hardest by uh, hurricane sandy it's is true. really quite gotta, we, something to be in, in the uh, reality of the with. situations you got to rely on yourself and your neighbors and your family and and sometimes some groups like that yeah there's some real groups not the federal government that's, that's what I've been exactly. saying, trying to be safe for years, too. And that's why I feel like this show is empowering, because we got people like Frank and, and other folks like that who are doing that type of work, and uh, you can count on them if you're if you're having trouble. Didn't that sound good to go down there, too? Like they had that raffle for the money? Yeah. Like the silver bullion, no, the copper bullion, the... You know Nizzy? Have you talked to this guy, Nizzy? He's in uh, the... He was down there today. He's he's like copper smithing now. He's like... Cre- Striking his own coins and interesting they, that those are the coins I think that are up for a bid. Interesting. Right? Yeah. So I've been telling him like you know you gotta fucking back it with weed. We're gonna need <laughs> weed currency that We're you trade on it. outside of the Fed, Federal Reserve System. You don't trade it for dollars. You trade it for like work or social credits or come up with our own system. I like weed. that. I like that. You, the only thing you I can't saw take another is money. one of those alternative currencies things coming up in uh, Cambridge. I saw like a flyer for it. It was like, or like, uh, bank your time or something. Time, time, share, time share. Share your time. Time circle. Something. Yeah, it was something like that. And I was looking I've at it. I've talked to them, but like I tried to get them on the show. I don't know what happened with that. That, 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 that is interesting. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw about it. It's like you record, you record like acts of yeah. public service or stuff that you do. I like what and they're doing. And then you get like credits towards yeah. other services. But I would like stuff. to see something bigger, like an Ithaca Hours program. That, well, why uh, don't why you don't start have, it? Why don't we I don't start have the it? Money or resources? Right. We need some rich people <laughs> to have time. You know, like all right, like rich people and anybody else. Like, you guys can call know, in at like six one seven six zero six four one two two. Like if he had the mind to do it, he could do that. You know what I mean? Someone like <laughs> that's within Cambridge that owns business to, to get it going. Like that's how Ithaca's like. Well, well, it was run by like the local record store. We'll work on that. I was yep. gonna say anyone, any any rich folks or uh, yeah, uh, say poor, our number again poor for folks or anyone in between <laughs> can call in and uh, weigh in on this stuff. It's six one seven six zero six four one two two. Two hotheads where activism happens. We got more coming up next. You want to take a quick break for some music? Yeah, we yeah, do yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. are we gonna do next? We gotta see if we can get Ian in here. Yeah, we gotta get some Ian in here. Some Ian in here. I really want to see him. I think the last time I saw him, I was like. <sighs> Five, two, uh, two. I don't even know. Yeah, clearly, before th- he was two. No, he, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. You guys are the same age. Aren't I think. You? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I don't know. Pretty close. I don't know, man. Time moves fast. It was it weird. It does. It's weird. I went back to to Amherst to see all these CRC Did? folks and stuff and friends from from days gone by, and I'm like, it's been a year since I seen you. I can't believe that's even possible. It's really weird. It's freaking me out time guys well, we've been here all year Super now. oh that's oh, we have, dude we have we, we've been not slacking. quite a year i think we're gonna lose our middle east dates Ooh, no we're not because we haven't no, done we're anything no we're not no we we're need not. to figure that out i that. know what's going on we need to write that down i got people we i got I we got gotta people. book it now i got we'll book it on live on the air i got vans who's playing all right i think i'm I wanna hold almost you this. It's on all market. right well okay. no we'll take a break first <laughs> we would say yeah okay we'll take a quick break and then i'll give you my my thoughts on our upcoming show at the Middle East. Right. Uncensored. 